Okay, the ladies, <clears throat> apart from the discoloring, the ways are not too bad, I think. So, for my next trick, I'm gonna stone them, but I only have one decent stone and it's from like the 70s. So, I have to do some little bit of dressing, and I'm using this DMT. I think this is a 12 or 10 or something inch diamond plate because it's reasonably flat so I can flatten my stone just the basic lapping operation I already started on the other side which is now facing up but there is huge gate gouge in it so I'm hoping that the other side is at least half decent. And as we see it's starting to bear here, a little bit here. So it's just half an hour of figure eight and we'll see where we go. There is a cooking show for a really boring video here, I can tell. But we are getting there. The bearing spot here, here, they are getting bigger. This one is almost recognizable, so... This is not the way to create like those precision ground flat stones that are that all the rain is about but this will create something that is I'd say reasonably flat and at the moment that's the best I can do although I have a surface grinder sitting in the corner I've done nothing with it so for the time being, surface grinding is not an option for me. I actually found a way to cheat. Uh, I came to think about scraping and this is basically high spotted here, so I took my crappy diamond wheel and I just ever so slightly scrape along the areas that are touching because what I was wanting to happen happened so as this is getting flatter it is getting increasingly more harder to cut and slower to cut so I was basically rubbing it for 15 minutes the stone I mean and it got nowhere so I tried this on the other side and now it's actually better than my formerly better side so yeah this this stone is it's almost a goner but it started as a proof of concept and now it's kind of a project of its own I wanna I wanna succeed at this but, and this is, I think this is getting pretty flat, I mean this side, it could be usable right now or I think this is what I need, it's not what I want, I want precision ground stone at some point, but I think at this point this will get me forward, but I just, I'm gonna keep doing this for for some time, so scrape a little, break the, break the surface so the diamond can bite better and then just clap it down again, see where we are at and go through again, scratch it again with this diamond wheel and, and so we go. Now it's scraped and Wash it so we don't get the 
huge diamond chunks out of the wheel into the plate and continue with the lapping. Okay, so even that little what I did, I can see that it closed the gap on this end and the middle part here at least two millimeters which is a lot more than I got done in 15 minutes previously so it works yeah so now I got the stone where I want it and let's see if the, if the thing works I'm not definitely grinding so I think I'm quite close to the so-called burnishing effect, only hitting the random high spots. It feels like it's not cutting at all, which I suppose is the point.